Hmm. What do I make out of this? It's a strange material. Hmm. Or maybe I find something in these drawers. Oh, come on, now you're not even trying. Okay, no riddle, no strange object to this time, just the pure comic book. According to many experts, AG began a new creative period when he started working on The Secret of the Unicorn. Tintin had grown up. AG began the new period with two innovations that proved to be very successful. An adventure that was twice as long as the previous one and the introduction of the last two important people into the repertoire of stories. At the flea market, Tintin finds the model of an old ship that he wants to give to a haddock. But it's not just him who's interested. He can only show it to the captain, then it is stolen. But Haddock realizes that the ship is the model of the unicorn, the ship of his ancestor Francis Haddock. Said Francis has hidden a treasure, and the unicorn models, of which there are three, are the key. Tintin finds an old paper and slowly realizes what the thieves of his model were looking for when he is kidnapped by them. This story and its continuation has some surprises. The search for clues to a treasure is interwoven with a crime story in which some believe they know more than they really know. And in contrast to The Shooting Star, the story is a bit more lighthearted. While the continuation between The Cigars of Pharaoh and The Blue Lotus was a bit loose and both albums could stand alone, the plot in The Secret of the Unicorn is not complete. There is a happy ending, but the treasure has not yet been found. The servant Nestor, who will later become Haddock's servant, is introduced as a new character. In this volume, he is still the butler of the antique dealer's bird but without knowing about their criminal ambitions. Thompson and Thompson, who are on the trail of a pickpocket, provide the lighter note. This plot has only marginally to do with the secret of the unicorn, but is linked to the story in an interesting way. This book is one of the highlights of the series. Incidentally, it was also one of my first books from the Tintin Adventures, and you can see it. The backside is fading, the binding is no longer fresh and the pages have folds from reading a lot. So yes, this is my book. And I still like to read it from time to time, even today. But it's a bit strange. For every story until now I found an artifact here. And with this, obviously nothing. Hmm. Does this mean something? From light cometh light, and it will shine. The light shall help you finding your next destination. Just look it up in the atlas. And some hieroglyphs, I believe, which I don't understand. 